What is up everybody, Mystic7 here, and today we have some pretty exciting news to talk about. Tournaments have been officially revealed, released, not released, but revealed by Supercell. Uh, there have been a little bit of sneak peeks here and there, some leaked stuff here and there. Um, but today, the official reveal for the tournaments has been officially revealed. And we're going to talk a little bit about how the tournaments will work, and then uh, kind of what they mean for this channel and for the game in general. So, tournaments unlock close to tournament rules level. Um, which is like probably around level 9 uh, a screenshot of the tournament rules level should be right there um, And it kind of gives what, what supercell says it like gives a player uh, a goal to work towards as a lower level Like you know you want to level up so that you can get to the tournament playing level you can actually go and participate um, And then all tournaments will be played using these tournament rules um, and, and that's kind of how this is gonna go. It's just gonna make things easier for players like so that like a level 2 won't be fucking playing against a level 10 um, So that there's more of like a matchup of even skill. Uh, it makes sense now Do I agree with the whole like, you know, you have to be level 9 to do a tournament not so much because that obviously encourages uh, more gameplay more gemming more leveling up um, and that's just the whole thing right there, but whatever, you know, that's kind of how they're going to run it. Um, and now, so, the tournaments are capable of playing a tournament using a location-based system, which is awesome, meaning that if you and five other friends are in one room and you guys are like, hey, we're bored as shit, let's do a quick Clash Royale tournament right now, you can set it up and then do it. Now, here's the, the, the bad part about this. Um, if you have sore losers, if you have that, you know, that one asshole using a Royal Giant or a Mortar, um, they will get punched in the face because you're live and in person, you're battling your friends, and I'm sure, you know, being friends, you guys maybe roughhouse a little bit, so if someone's using some cheap-ass strategy, you can literally beat the shit out of them in the middle of a tournament, uh, which is probably what I'll end up doing with my friends, and I'll make some videos with that, and it will be really, really fun, um, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then you can still set up tournament tournaments globally I'm assuming like you don't have to all be in one place at the same time like if you can you can set it up online uh, With other friends uh, you don't have to have everybody in the same like you don't have to fly to the fucking other side of the world to tournament with some of your friends over there right like you can do it online uh, but I think that's all awesome and then so new tournament system is in play to kind of complement this uh, you do not have to be online all at the same time to do the tournament it's kind of slower um, so it, it makes it easier though because you know, you're not gonna have like 50 people or 30 people or 20 people online at the same time That's gonna be too hard to, to do um, That's gonna have to take a lot of organization So you don't have to worry about that You do not have to be online at the same time and this new matchmaking system is called a closed matchmaking system Which means each tournament has a leaderboard and matchmaking pool of its own giving each uh, Tournament its own kind of like individuality and it allows for small or large tournaments Which is pretty cool and you do not have to leave your clan that is the best part You do not have to leave at all you can stay in your clan and do these tournaments which is sweet and that's pretty much everything about the tournaments everything that I have at least uh, for day one of the sneak peek there's more coming tomorrow which is pretty exciting and now that we got all of that out of the way if you guys have any comments questions concerns or comments or thoughts or ideas let me know down in the comment section go down there and tell me what you guys think so far about the tournaments because I want to know how you guys feel because again it doesn't matter how I feel because I'm just one person it matters how you guys feel because you guys are the population of the game and I want to know so that's everything I have about the tournaments for today's video that's just a sneak peek so I'll top in to some battles and cause some havoc in the playing field of Clash Royale okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and do some more attacks with the P.E.K.K.A strategy because I've been having trouble with it so most likely this video I will be raging um, I've been getting some wins. I've had some losses. I got fucking three crown over here um, and It's been kind of tricky working the strategy against the newer strategies now the spam ones and then the royal giant ones But we're gonna go out and try it anyway, so let's get into attack get into an attack and um, see how we do Oh great, so we're gonna start this off with a level 11 at about 3600. We'll give him a good luck Oh, this is gonna be tough at least we started off with our elixir pump though That's gonna make our life a little bit easier, um, but I'm feeling this attack to be a little on the difficult side uh, but we'll see how this goes. So he does have a level 3 princess. I'm going to wait to counter that for a second. Okay, there's his prince. So I'll put a P.E.K.K.A. in right there. Oh, shit. That was that was wrong placement. That was bad. Oops. That was that was just shitty play. Okay, well, now he has a... <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be... It's going to be one of those raids. Okay, let's get our prince in right here. And then uh, we can begin this push. Okay, he did fireball. Oh, he missed the ice wizard, though. Which is great, and then we can start getting towards this tower. Okay, let's get the princess right there. She should be able to take out those minions. Awesome, and then we should be able to take that tower. Hell yeah, there we go. That is a good start to the raid. Hold on, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Okay, Dark Prince in. Come on, take that, take that, take that. Let's go. Get in there, boys. Bam! Oh, hell yes. Oh, wow, this raid went a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, that was that was fun. See, now if we can just do this the entire time, we're chilling. We're not going to lose. 
All right, sweet. So let's get uh, minions in to help right here because these guys need to go down. And then we need to save our P.E.K.K.A. a little bit because I kind of want to do a push with them. Or no, actually, you know what? We're going to keep the P.E.K.K.A. just kind of for defense right there. And then I'm going to put a pump down. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me... Actually, we'll just let the minions kind of do their thing. It's whatever. So we'll just get... We'll get the uh, princess in. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Minions. No. No. Okay, well, there we go. So the princess is down. Um, and then, unfortunately, we really don't have defense right now against his princess. I have to drop an ice wizard right here, which is kind of a waste. But, I mean, if it has to go down to save the tower, then it has to go down to save the tower. So, now we're pushing a little bit. I can drop a prince and just kind of see what that does. Uh, and then we can go towards his tower there. We will zap and fireball. That was actually a good play. But it will not stop us from getting to the tower, though, because we're going to get some hits off. 250 health. I'm going to give him a good game because that is it, guys. That's game. I can just fireball that, and then it is game over. He does have a royal giant, so I'm actually really glad we beat this guy. Um, I, I did feel bad a little bit at first just because we beat him so badly. Um, but now knowing he's a royal giant user, I really don't give a shit, so it's okay. And uh, now we're going to be pushing his right tower, and we can just fuck with him a little bit. Um, so we, we're going to slowly just pick him apart. So we're going to take out this right tower, and then we're going to just throw a fireball in on the left tower, and then grab the three crown. Okay, maybe, or not the left tower, the main tower. Maybe we should actually just do that right now before he beats me. So 20 seconds left. Um, I can put down a P.E.K.K.A. right there. Uh, 14 seconds. Oh, what if he? What if he comebacks and comes come back comes back and wins at the end because I'm like just being a dumbass. Okay, fireball, please do. Two. Okay, there we go. All right, three crown right there. Okay, that was a little bit close. Um, he actually could have won right there, and uh, that would have been horrible, and that would have been humongous karma slapped in my face. But we did win 35 cuffs for three crown right there. So hey, not bad to start off the video. Okay, so let's get in one more attack and answer today's common question of the day, which is from Owen Drew. And the question is, will you ever do any super magical chest openings again? And um, I've got a couple of comments to make on this question and reasons behind all of it. Um, I might. I'm considering it. Um, and the real, like the reason why, the real reason why I wouldn't do it is because a lot of people complain when I gem um, or use gems in the game. Everyone's like, "Oh, you're a gemmer. Uh, it's a pay-to-play game." And it's like, well, yeah, it is a pay-to-play game. That's how Clash Royale's always been. Um, but like, you know, if people seriously have a problem with me gemming on the channel, obviously I won't do it. Um, but the reason why a lot of other YouTubers uh, don't do super magical chest openings anymore is because they're all pretty much maxed um, and there's no sense in spending you know hundreds of dollars a video um, if you're already maxed out so that's why you don't really see a lot of super magical chest opening videos anymore um, but I mean if you guys want to see them because obviously I would be one of the only ones doing them um, I would be I would be happy to do it absolutely I would definitely do some super magical chest openings um, and that would actually help me level up and the re again the reason why I haven't really been actually I haven't explained the reason why the reason why I have not been doing any super magical chest openings is it's not because people have been complaining, um, although that, you know, obviously is one. Um, but more along the lines of, it's just like, it's really expensive to do. Um, and I know that a lot of the dollars I use in-game are sponsored by Cash for Apps, but it's still pretty fucking expensive nonetheless. And then also, it's just like... I I kind of want to chill out on the game a little bit, you know. I wanna I wanna update or I wanna play. I don't want to fuck this guy's this guy's kicking my ass by the way. I don't want to just have to worry about doing um, chest openings and stuff. Like I want to actually sit down and enjoy the game. And um, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, actually, because I'm trying to focus on this raid and I'm getting my ass kicked. Um, but moral of the story is I have not done super magicals in a while. And if you guys want me to bring them back, I for sure can. Um, just give me the word, let me know, and I can do it. I just, you know, I've been, like, more enjoying playing the game rather than just doing chest openings every video just because, again, like, it's expensive and it kind of annoys people. Um, but, I mean, again, if you guys want to see it, I will bring it to the channel. But, yeah, that was today's common question of the day, so thank you, Drew, for that. And then now let's get into this raid, which we actually have tied up on. And uh, I don't know if he's going to be pushing for the three crown, what his game plan is here. We're going to let his princess, princess, we're going to let his prince kind of do his thing and get to his tower if he can. Um, because I'm not really concerned about that. Okay, so now it's going to be like a big P.E.K.K.A. push right here. Let's get all of this shit in. I'm going to get a fireball going right here. That should do work on his... Oh, awesome. Actually, I didn't even mean to put the uh, minions right there where the princess was going to be, but I did. So now he's going to have his arrows coming in. Let's get our Dark Prince. He is... Dude, he's got that free spell. That free spell is doing a lot of damage on us. And that's actually making this raid fucking tough, man. He's doing good. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely going to be a harder battle. Um, so 10 seconds left. Yeah, we're going to end up in a tie right here. And then we're going to have to really push in towards his base. I'm not really sure how we're going to do it. I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, cause I, we have, I have the elixir pump down, which is good. 
and but he's like pushing really just fucking hard um I cannot get a stacked push going, and he's fucking using the f uh, free spell. I think that's what's going to win him the raid right here is that free spell, just because it's really hard to counter. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's get another Elixir Collector in. I'm going to play it a little bit slow, because I know we only have 40 seconds left. Um, but I'm going to try to play a little bit slower. Let's see. Our princess can definitely get some shots off on tower, which is great. Uh, and then he does have his princess in. Um, let's get a P.E.K.K.A. our P.E.K.K.A. going down. And then an Ice Wizard as well. And then I can use a Fireball right there. Please hit the Dark Prince as well. It did. Awesome. Minions in. Yeah, so because he has that free spell, I will not be able to uh, push in and get his tower. Just because, like, whenever I put a P.E.K.K.A. down, it just dies right away. So we're going to tie right there. So uh, I'll give him a good game because that was a very good fight. And uh, we're going to end in a tie. So that was a pretty awesome match right there. And that was today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And again, tell me what you guys think about the update in the comments. I want to know how you guys feel. And uh, I'll have another video tomorrow explaining the uh, the second half of the update features for Clash Royale. And that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Love you all. Peace.